Hello everyone. How are you all doing today? I hope you are all doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am personally doing good from my end and I want to welcome each and every one of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here kindly, remember to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time we have a new video you will be able to get notified and for the returning subscribers thank you so much for your support i really appreciate all of you i am here personally to share with you a story that's actually trending as we speak i know in one way or another you might have seen the story of kate middleton announcing the end of chemotherapy and that has led to a lot of questions that i am very sure even you yourselves have a lot to question concerning the same so they released a video and honestly what i can say i don't think there was any cancer allow me say that because i usually do not like getting deep into stories of health issues but when it comes to kate middleton there are some things that actually forces me to just speak out because it doesn't make any sense so the announcement was a shocking one to all of us and i'm very sure you yourself got a lot of questions to ask concerning the same you know many people are asking how fast was that because I believe in one way or another you have seen or rather you have had people suffering from cancer and what, whatever they face, it's a lot and it's not something that can easily get out of someone. So they are just here now praising William. I don't know for standing with Kate during that hard time and I'm like, you know, that is a very cheap PR they forget that we have enough receipts and last week there was an article talking of kate middleton and william's marriage suffers amid royal family crisis yeah there was that article and maybe i share part of it that actually was there this is an article from last week that speaking in a touch weekly, the insider revealed that Kate Middleton often bears the brunt of William's short temper and frustration. As per the report, the problems between the couple have increased since they were hit with back-to-back -back challenges, including King Charles and Kate's respective cancer diagnosis. And to add on it, the royal family has to deal with Andrew's royal lodge drama and Harry and Meghan. The princess of Wales have actually been in some crisis together with her husband, Prince of Wales, and they can also be quite hot-headed with the stress. That is from the source. And I'm like, how does that change immediately after a week? Because why am I sharing with you that article? They had that recently and from the images we are seeing from the video that they released, it's some kind of a love video because the way Kate and William looks to be in good terms, it actually contradicts everything. So talking about a U-turn, I have not and will never look at the Kensington Palace production, but I gave seen enough still shots to get the general idea this is embarrassing actually i'd say william and kate are embarrassing themselves because they are the same people who always releases a story of you know in a crisis a marriage crisis such kind of things even though it's from the uk media i do believe that everything published in the uk media is always from the palace so that is what is trending right now. I don't know how you took that video. I don't know if you got to see it, but I'll try share with you many parts of it. And you will tell me what you think about these cancer diagnoses. How fast was that? That is my whole point. I'm here questioning 
was Kate really having cancer? Because this was too soon to be cancer free. This was too soon to even say someone is done with chemotherapy. Talking from, you know, experiences of other people who might have in one way or another shared with me that cancer treatment is something that is so procedural and it takes time. It's not that easy as Kate Middleton is trying to put in this story. So I don't know what you have to say about it kindly. Let me know what you think about this specific story. It is raising questions that I have said you have a lot of questions to ask as well as I do have a lot. I do have questions to ask, but whom are we going to ask these questions? Because Kate Middleton is not even going to answer them. Because, you know, when you had no cancer and you were lying about it, then what will you really answer the public demanding for some transparency in that case? It really makes no sense. So my people tell me what you think about this. Tell me what you think about the marriage crisis that was released last week. And now, how about the U-turn that immediately took William and Kate marriage that actually they are right now in line. They are just supporting each other. Such kind of questions. Just tell me what you think about it. And that is basically all I had to share with you. It was all about Kate Middleton making an, an announcement of being done with chemotherapy and that she is yet to return back to the public. So kindly share with me your own thoughts and allow me end it here. My people, thank you so much for watching up to this particular point. I really appreciate all of you. And before this video comes to an end, I really encourage you each and every one of you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so it will help us grow to a bigger family always here for some news like this and mostly here for the sake of harry and megan so remember to also like this particular video and it will be so nice thank you so much for watching stay safe from wherever you are and stay tuned for more of these stories because this drama has just begun and the end might not be as soon as you might all think. So let us look into this story and how it will get. So stay tuned as I have said. And until next time, my people, it is a goodbye.